Hey, okay. I think we're recording. Okay. Welcome, guys. Welcome back to part 17 of Lamborghini Venom tutorial. So, today we're going to be making the side mirror, which is this one that I've done right here. And yeah, I just recently watched the collaboration between the Natural, Natural Art Freak and uh, Damien Matthew. I'll leave the link in the description in the description below so you guys can watch it. It's uh, it's really nice. I really learned a lot. Well, okay, let's just get started. With okay, this is how we're going to start. We're going to select the door panel here. Go to the side view and then select this side view uh, one here and this back one back view and also the top view then hit the forward slash and isolate them focus right on this uh, door pa on the panel here and just front view and then focus right on it I don't have the period I don't have a number pad so I could have just press the period key so it can just focus immediately but anyways let's just get started so this is how we're going to do it here. We're going to shift D, duplicate this one. Let's see, wireframe. You can just bring this here, then extrude it once. Don't worry if you can't see it; it will be visible in a moment. Let's see. Okay, and if I selected both of them. Okay, yeah, I did. When you select it, just delete the shrink wrap modifier. Select it and then go into edit mode so I'm going to extrude this right here and another one let's see the uh... this part kind of looks like a plain wing so we just create that so extrude it upwards a bit and then like so then press F here bring this down That's okay. So let's uh, try to align this well. So this part. Okay, let's see. Bring everything up just a little bit. Now let's bring it here. Just allow the vertices to touch the surface of the, the door mesh. Okay, these ones are okay. So let's just align them properly. Okay, that is nice enough. So let's select everything, go into front view, and then extrude this, scale it down, then scale again on the z-axis, then press zero. Then let's bring this up somewhere here, scale it down some more. Let's go to the top view, bring this back, side view, and let's scale this on the y-axis so it can look nice and clean. A shift N. Let's see. That is looking fine. Looking okay. So now let's add in a loop cut at the bottom here. Let's see. Somewhere around there. Let's move it down some more. And uh, take this two and then move it on the y axis backwards just a little bit so it can look like that. That is nice. So, next thing we want to do is. Um, I think that kind of does it. So okay, hold on. Let's add one here. Bring these guys up a bit, and then on the x-axis. So this can look cool enough. So let's go to the under of this thing and just press F here to select these two and just fill the bottom, and then also. Before you fill the top, go to the front view and just extrude this upward, like so. And then select these two parts and then F, F, F. So now we can control R here and just extrude this to 
tighten this up and also here too but not too much so it doesn't show too much like that so now we can also tighten this edge e and uh, the next part the car is mostly done mostly finished so let me know in the comments down below if you guys want me to just make the rest of the parts as time lapse then when I want to continue I'll just we'll just make this uh, rim here because I'm not going to do a, a tire thread tutorial. I think I'll do it, but it'll be a separate stuff on its own. But it will be like separate from the Lamborghini uh, series. Anyways, this will be the uh, final part we're going to be doing with the car. So let's just continue with this one, anyways. So now let's move on to the uh, side mirror itself. So take one vertex shift D duplicate it and just bring it here then extrude and extrude first of all as usual let's separate the selection okay so Z separate just one vertex instead of the whole thing okay let's do that again P separate then select this one so let's just continue that extrude this and just kind of roughly form the shape I don't think this has to be very perfect like that okay that's 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 nice enough so let's um press contr uh, shift control alt s and then y to shrink, uh, just to share this in the y-axis and then bring it back just a bit so now we can just extrude this like so then scale on the X scale X bring it here scale X just leave it like that then extrude this one more time let's just rotate it instead of sharing so scale X rotate This Lamborghini side mirror kind of looks really weird. I don't know why they did it like this, but you can't question the masters of designing. Okay. So now we have to uh, do it well on the side view. Let's scale this down. Let's scale it down some more on the Z axis. So deselect these two now sorry just these two now gg and just slide them backwards yeah that is good enough so control r on this side and also on the bottom too so now we can let's just fill in the entire face this one here then click these two press j and these two, then J. So now this center one can just bring it out just a bit. That's nice. Shift N. So we want to tighten the edges. So uh, Control R on this side first. E. Let's bring this to the side. Select this one. Just make it smooth. So now for this part, control R, E, and just bring it low, control R, F, and just kind of make it cool. Yep, yeah, this is pretty much what we're looking for. So last thing we want to do is just control R and add a, should we have a look at, no, 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 no. Yes, I did not do that. Let's see. Yeah, this is pretty much it. This was quicker than I thought. So let's take this one now. Go into edit mode, select and wireframe mode. Select this and just bring it up. So 
slit this one and this one so it can kind of rest on it okay it's not resting fully so let's do some more of that but not in wireframe this time you know what let's just leave it like this none of these are actually showing though so select everything here then press F and take these two on the or the on both ends then press J then these two here J now for these guys J come on J now this one and this one then this one J so select go into face select mode select this one and then to this side and then you know, press I to insert the faces oh okay go back into vertex select so we can arrange this uh, nonsense here okay Yeah, I think that is arranged well enough. Um, okay, so select the face inside, then Shift D, duplicate that first, and then move it aside. Move it aside, then select it again, then extrude, move it back. Let's go to the top view for this, bring it back, scale X. So it can fit right in. G. So let's go to the side view and scale this on the z-axis. So we don't have any problem. And that is looking good. So control R on the side. Bring it to the back. And control R on this side. Bring it forward. I think we'll need one for the outside too. Okay, this is peeking out. Move this in. This one isn't showing, so we're good. So, what we need to do next? Okay, let's add Control R here. Then Control B. Not too much. That is okay. So now, let's take this one that we left L. Then extrude it out just a bit. And Control R and center and Control B. Bevel that nicely. Select it and then shift N, recalculate the normals and bring it back in. First of all, we want to scale it just a tiny bit and bring it in. Okay, before we do that, let's try to make this face as flat as possible. So take here, see that, and, and insert it. Not too much. That is okay. So let's just take this in. I think it's quite deep though. I don't know. Yep, this looks good enough to me. Looks good enough. So I think I think this is too sharp. This is too sharp. So let's bring this two down a bit. Yeah, that does it. So, I think that's it. That's it, guys, for today. Uh, thank you for watching. I tried to make this one as short as possible. So maybe next time we'll be working on the uh, spoilers. This spoilers right here. So it could be in time lapse if you guys want that. I don't know. I can do both.
I can do it anyhow you want it. So just let me know. Just because I don't think me talking sometimes might not be necessary. So I don't want to just make the video. Make some unnecessary things in the video. So thank you guys for watching. And please like the video. Subscribe. And follow me on Instagram if you can. At grid3d. So I'll catch you guys in the next one.